Hi everybody, it's Michelle here again with Birthy Hoover. Here at Birthy Hoover, I am a full spectrum plant-based holistic doula and an advocate for all things safe, natural, and effective. Here on this channel, we discuss all things pregnancy, birth, and womb health related. So if you guys like the content, you like what you hear on the channel, please be sure to subscribe. Today's topic is going to be about coffee um, during pregnancy. So drinking coffee in pregnancy. Um, and I'm going to just get right into it. So in a different video, I spoke about how coffee is a womb destroyer. So it is makes so much sense that I'm going to talk about how detrimental it is during pregnancy. <clears throat> so the first thing about coffee is the fact that it dehydrates the body. Um, you do not want to dehydrate your body when you're trying to build a baby in your womb because you need um, proper amounts of uh, fluid to create um, the amniotic fluid for the baby. So you need to fill that sack up with the proper amount of water. So drinking coffee is not going to help you do that if, um, you know, if it's dehydrating the body. Another thing about coffee is that it is associated with uh, raising your blood pressure levels. If coffee it's raising your blood pressure levels, right? And you are a coffee drinker. Like, you have coffee every day. Um, however many ounces, 10, 24, whatever. Uh, and then you run into something called preeclampsia. This is a direct indication that coffee is not good for the body. And coffee is definitely not good for the woman when she's pregnant because... It raises your blood pressure. Um, coffee is also uh, a very acidic bean. So it is going to create an acidic environment for your body. So your pH levels are going to be off. Um, it is also known to um, stop your body from being able to absorb uh, iron. And so, and other minerals. So that's another reason why I always tell people like coffee is just not it. Like you need to find another alternative. You need to find something else to drink. And then I'm also seeing that a lot of people's main source of uh, fluid or main source of hydration is not water. And I don't understand this. You have to drink water. Your body is 80%, 75, 80% water. I don't understand why we don't want to drink water. Water is life. Water is beautiful. Water is given to us by the, the earth and the ecosystems. Like we have to drink water. Um, coffee is just so detrimental. Like it's so much so that it is one of the only things besides like, um, you know, the, the, the drugs that you, the epidural, uh, one of the only things that goes right through the placenta, like the placenta cannot block coffee it goes right through and so if it's raising your blood pressure and it's causing issues it's not good for your kidneys um coffee is just it's not it's not a good thing for your body and i know that some people think that it's healthy but it is definitely not healthy so and this is also the case with other forms of caffeine so chocolate is also caffeinated uh, certain teas uh caffeine so you have to be careful because coffee is not the only thing that care you know that is high in caffeine so this is another thing a lot of people will eat uh have cravings for chocolate and also drink coffee during their pregnancy that then run into things like preeclampsia or, or blood pressure issues and have no idea why because they think that they're eating healthy and they think that they have a pretty balanced diet but they don't understand that the caffeine that they're taking from coffee and other sugary drinks and soda and um you know chocolate is actually causing their body more harm than good so i'm always going to say um, no to coffee uh, alternatives that i have for coffee um 
this is something that kind of tastes like coffee it, it gives the same effect as coffee so it, it helps give you an energy boost without the crash um roasted dandelion root tea roasted dandelion root tea it has a coffee flavor um, it also boosts the energy without the crash um, and it's good for the body so i think if you replace this uh coffee with this tea um it could it could really save you a lot of trouble especially during your pregnancy so i am definitely not an advocate at all uh for coffee in general um i know a lot of us live by it i know a lot of people it's like a ritual they they get to wake up and they gotta have a cup of coffee or they can't even function or they can't even have a good day but that's also a red flag if you wake up and you need something to have a good day to wake up to um have energy then that's one an addiction and that's two dependency like you are irritated agitated and grumpy because you don't have that's a withdrawal that's your body saying i need this thing in order to function and that's not a good sign so you need to uh i would say i always tell my clients when my clients come to me and, and they consult with me and stuff like i encourage my clients to detox off of um, coffee before they even get pregnant um and then find an alternative and increase their water intake so that their body is functioning you know well in order to um you know carry that baby and and build that baby uh through nourishment and so that's my take on um coffee i think coffee is um absolutely just not healthy especially for pregnant women um, so if you're looking at not being able to absorb minerals properly, you're looking at dehydration, you're looking at, uh, fluctuating, um, blood pressure, uh, and it's just, it's not, it's not something ideal. It's not something that you want to be putting in your body. You're looking at a, a tax on your other organs. This is not something that you want, especially when you're trying to, um, you know, form your baby and, and and bring about a healthy child to the world so that's why for me again i say you gotta come off of it you gotta find a different way to get that energy in um some other source of natural energy and there's plenty of other uh foods and and nourishing fruits and things that you can eat for energy um and drink for energy so that's pretty much my take. I am uh, going to uh, end this video. If you guys um, would like to discuss this topic further or if you have a topic that I haven't already talked about, you can um, reach out to us at birthyouraygmail.com. Um, I hope this was useful. I hope this was helpful. And I will see you guys for the next video. Again, my name is Michelle. I'm a doula at Birthy Hoover. Peace and pregnancy dust.